This is uh, Drew Storen joining us. Drew is a former Major League Baseball pitcher. That's right. And uh, it's great to see you. We've known Drew since he was a little little boy. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, his uh, his dad is a longtime uh, friend of the show. In fact, uh, a longtime member of our staff. Yeah. That's right. I, I, Mark forget, Patrick. I, I forget his name right now, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I understand uh, he was uh, just, uh, just swell. He's currently sleeping in somewhere. <sighs> uh, Drew, uh, you have a really cool project. Um, I will let you explain how um, uh, the world of baseball has merged with the world of bourbon. What's the short version of the story? Well, the short version is uh, I retired from baseball and loved bourbon, so I had the idea <laughs> to uh, take the corn from the Field of Dreams movie site and distill it into a whiskey and tell some really cool baseball stories in the, in, in the meantime. Oh All right. That's so a great idea. Yeah. You, uh, th there is actually a Field of Dreams mm -hmm. um, in yeah, it's Iowa. Not, it's not, uh, well, partial. Well, some of it is a... They had some Hollywood set for some of it, but no, there's an actual baseball field there, yeah. And Bob Zaney and I were there, believe it or not. And they do grow corn. Absolutely. So you so you and a buddy were just talking and said, I wonder if we could buy the corn and turn it into booze. Is that essentially what happened? Yeah. Yeah, about eight years ago, we were on a road trip and we were saying if we were ever to do our own uh, bourbon, because we were finding all the cool stories and we had this idea. And so I reached out to the to movie site when I was done uh, playing and... I asked what they did with it, and it was sold like any other corn. So I said, I have a pretty good idea, I think, what we can do with this. Wow. Right. So do you, do you go to the site to make sure they're giving you the right corn? <laughs> Luckily, I have a very good relationship with uh, the farmer, Andy Ray, that takes care of it. So they, they have a separate bin for it, and uh, they do a great job in making sure that it's the real deal stuff. That's so cool. So this is the, the corn from the Field of Dreams. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, so I don't know much about making booze. Then what do they do with it? Uh I put it on a semi and we send it to the distiller and then they do their thing. That's that's not my lane on how it's actually made. <laughs> now, I, um, I boil it and then they uh, add a certain I, I, amount. To, to, yeah, this uh, is where we uh, need... Emulsifiers, I believe. Uh, uh, and by the way, good know. question. <laughs> Are you sure it's from the field of dreams? <laughs> no, I'm asking this for I a reason. I don't know. I'm asking this for a reason. <laughs> I, uh, I, I go what to... What a the, jerk. Just, just let me. Okay, I'm, I'm making a point. I go to this farmers market every Saturday. <laughs> it's the same thing. Yeah. And no, you know, you know, I'm going with this. I know. And I know. sometimes I'm kind of wondering if the guy that's selling me these tomatoes went to Kroger and bought them, <laughs> took the labels off, and is that happens. Yeah. Well, I was. It's not tomato season yet. <laughs> I was really trying to illustrate this. I, uh, I go to the farmer's market and I buy whatever I'm buying from the farmer's right. market. And uh, sometimes I wonder. So I'm sure that there's skeptics, which is why. So you, but I know that you actually know the farmer who farms the actual field where the field of dreams is. Yes. So it's a Ray family that takes care of it. And they've uh, taken care of the corn for, for a long time. So, and that's why on the back of the bottle, we actually have a Ray farms on there. So uh, every time I've come across somebody from Dyersville, they'll try to call me out for it and say, mm -hmm. oh, okay. Cause they just think I am M putting the name on there. Right. Like, no, if you look on there, it's coming from the Rays. And because awesome. see, this is all about Christy. Um, yes. The spirit of the Field of Dreams mm -hmm. is in this bottle, you see. I've never seen the movie. Oh. <sighs> You'll enjoy Good it. Lord, we... what's wrong with you? Somebody Could... walks out of court. Why is there some court order? The Pinewood Derby, <laughs> Soapbox Derby, Field of Dreams. I... Good Lord. I apologize. I well, You're fine, but you, you'll enjoy it. Yeah, it's a good okay. one. Mm -hmm. it's, um, Kevin Costner, I believe, is in mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Ray. Um, Leota. Ray Leota. Oh, okay. Is, is, uh, walks out of the... They're like ghosts that show up. It's really cool. And I know Jones. they just played a game there, what, last year? Yeah, last year and in 21, the, the Yankees and White Sox played. Yeah. Yeah, pretty wild. Did you go to that? Uh, I went last year. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, cool. It was unbelievable uh, to see how they transformed that site. And just so cool. Um, yeah. I know this is a stupid question. What uh, You couldn't eat this corn, right? Is this like... This isn't sweet corn, is it? No, no, no. It's a uh, like field corn. Yeah, so this, two, this would be yeah, otherwise. Yeah. Farmers prior to this would buy this corn. They would give it to their cows or something. Yeah, there's only a few things you can really do with this corn. That was the first thing I had to learn when I was started to take on this whole idea was learn about corn. So I called one of a local farmer friend of mine and learned how to talk in bushels and what kind of corn was needed to make oh. to oh. make whiskey. And luckily, I didn't have to pay them to put down a different type of corn. Cool. Okay. All right. Now, uh, as we're talking about it, where is it available? Where can people find it? Uh, we are available uh, in Indiana, but actually, it's in Iowa now. Um, since it's a control state, it goes to the state warehouse, uh, ah. and you can just go 
it's just sitting there. It just got there the other day, and so now so, we so are. In other words, the, the Iowa State Senate is currently <laughs> having a really nice breakfast. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, so the cool thing is we actually, uh, this is our first time we've gotten the word out that Iowa has it, and so you can go to your local store, and they can order it from the warehouse. Now, okay. Is, and I'm holding it up right now. It's a Field of Dreams uh, from the Field of Dreams Whiskey Company, Bourbon Whiskey, 93 proof, and this says uh, 750 milliliters. I don't, have, don't know how many ounces that is. And, 93 um, proof, or as Godwin calls it, water. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you? Uh, and, um, I ain't even bothering with that. <laughs> and this can be, in a, in a couple of weeks, am I understanding this correctly, This would you could have this shipped as like 35 states or something? Yeah, so we will also have it available on our website, drinkfieldofdreams.com. Uh, you can go in there and plug in your email, and uh, we'll have e-commerce available uh, in the oh, next couple of weeks. So oh, we'll great. Able, and, and the other part of it, uh, too... Uh, Chick, here's a question. You're always really uh -huh. good with trivia. Yes, go. In the history of baseball, 155 years, how many guys do you think have ever made it to the big leagues? Uh, oh, my Lord. I don't know. Not that many. Uh, how many people have played Major League Baseball in 155 years? Man. Um, uh, I, I don't know, thousands. Less, less than 10, you think? 100,000. <laughs> I don't know. I would, I would say less than 10,000. No? 22,860. Oh, okay. So, wow. which is why this is how many bottles are in our release. Oh, so, that's awesome. That's very cool. That is very cool. Well, yeah. There you go. Oh. So, we're all about running the parallels of whiskey numbers with baseball numbers. Oh, look at this. And, and they're even numbered. So, when you get the bottle, will it be uh, actually yep. numbered here? Oh. Yep. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Wow. So now, you definitely uh, want part of the first release. Where, what was the website again? I'm sorry. Drinkfieldofdreams.com. What a mm -hmm. cool idea. And it's interesting to me that you're um, a big bourbon fan. Because uh, I've known your dad for a long time. Yeah. He's a non-drinker. Correct. Have you at least had him take a sip of this? No. Nope. No. I, Maybe uh, he could wear it as cologne. He's a, <laughs> he's a, he's a good looking guy. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah I, uh, I got to play catch with him at the field. So that was, for me, the big win out of the oh, whole thing. Oh, so, yeah. like, I, that was something that I didn't really anticipate going into this. And like obviously something I never would have had an opportunity. So I know your dad well enough to know that when you were playing catch, he probably threw one really fast at you and then said, all right, pushy, throw it fast. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I had to you know make sure and hit the target. Were there any <laughs> tears while you were playing catch with your dad at the field? Of dreams, which no, is no, this is yeah, it's not something at all that I get choked up about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just play the, the business. Your dad uh, is also cats in the cradle. <laughs> your your dad food. is an excellent athlete. That's incredible. Um, oh, oh, can you oh. can you grab that? <sighs> Say hello, Tom. You can. Uh, hello, Bob and Tom show. Kenny, you're amazing. Hey, we just landed. I'm an ATL. Just got in from MCO through ORD. I had to call you guys today when I had you, uh, your Drew orders on. Is that right? That's right. right. Yes. Hey, guy, this is so bizarre, but how often do you get one closer talking to another? <laughs> well, that's right. He's a closer. Hey, where's Bob Costas when we need him? Am I right? <laughs> I had 43 saves in one year, too. But that was just renewing what we call our legacy clients. You know, if I had a decent setup man like you, Drew, I'd probably have at least nine McCurdy Awards by now. But even with seven, I'll put my road beef up against any other regional VP of sales in the industry. <laughs> hey, look, we're almost to the gate. But real quick, Drew, I know you had some uh, nasty change-ups on your day, but this this was my changeup yesterday. At ATL, first they told us Alpha 5, then switched I get to Foxtrot 48. Luckily, I had the app and tracked that bad boy in real time, but the boarding process was nothing but sweaty, downtrodden Zone 4 people uh. who spent the entire connection running the time mile for the first time since 7th grade. <laughs> I, know, I know. Nothing like an entire flight that smells like any time fitness the day after New Year. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this straight. You, you went from D.C. to Toronto, then Seattle and Cincinnati? Oh, yeah. Yeah, all in oh, Bostonians okay. well, because you. of you. Yeah, that was a career. For me, that's called Friday. I know. <laughs> I hey, listen, I'd love to chat all day, but like you told me once, I can't sign right now. <laughs> 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 no, that's yours. You can't find that puppy a good home. Hey, where's the game? We just landed. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Once again, we're talking with uh, Drew Storen, a former Major League Baseball pitcher. How long has it been since you uh, were on the mound? Oh, two years. So, yeah, it's been a minute. Mm. Yeah. yeah. What, what What is your fondest memory of uh, pitching in the major leagues? Uh, probably pitching my first save, which was in Dodger Stadium. Vince Goley calling it oh, and, and throwing to Pudge Rodriguez. So that oh, was, my gosh. Yeah, so oh. it was pretty, yeah, pretty that's, surreal. That's something, yeah. 
Do you happen to remember if there was one batter in particular that you were like, I do not want to throw against this guy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Jose Reyes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, always just owned me, and it was just... Uh, and Pablo Sandoval. Oh, okay. Because uh, yeah. if I just threw it within the zip code, he was going to hit his car somewhere. <laughs> 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 do you still have a lot of friends that are active players? Uh, not really. Um, it's kind of thinning out, but uh, that's why I'm kind of starting this whole thing with former teammates. I actual other bullpen mates i joke that we're the children of the corn so nice. uh, that we uh, we, oh, nice. we uh, this is our retirement thing that uh you know we're, it's a soft landing into the real world i guess yeah. yeah and and you got into drinking bourbon uh what as a player yeah so i i started collecting scotches and then went to a really cool bourbon bar in san francisco and try tried a, a really rare whiskey, AH or 16, and there was a book written about it. So I read the book on the way home, loved the story, and just started collecting and realized I was probably overpaying for cool stories, but that's what it's all about, is having the cool story in the bottle that somebody else doesn't have, and you get to share a drink with somebody. Mm. Once again, Drew Storen has uh, created with his partners uh, a, 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 a bourbon called Field of Dreams, and it's made with the corn from the Field of Dreams. And I, I assume that you have... Uh, made arrangements to continue to get the corn yes yeah this is a long-term business this is take the the funny thing about whiskey it takes a very long time you know and you can't can't really speed that up so uh luckily we have those guys on our side and uh they've been great so far how long does it take to uh, turn the corn into bourbon well it depends how long you want to age it but uh on average four years is, is like the safe one where people start going into age statements. Wow. So you've been doing this for a long time. Well, there are ways around that you can use some smaller barrels and yeah, there's okay. there's a lot of fun. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and how many are you going to be able to make next year? We should be able to double or triple our production next year. So we have a bunch of barrels down. I took every kernel of corn from the 21 harvest and either put it into our canned cocktail or into a barrel. So five billion kernels of corn. Okay. So bourbon lovers, it's the Field of Dreams Whiskey Company and their special bourbon made from the corn from the Field of Dreams. We're going to come back and hang out for a while with, uh, with Drew Storen. He is former Major League Baseball pitcher Drew Storen. And uh, Drew is also, uh, what's the word here? Distiller? Is that the uh, yeah. uh, kind of? Uh, yeah, not, not so much on that end. But uh, uh, Drew and a guy. couple of buddies had an idea to get the corn from the famous Field of Dreams from the movie Christy hasn't seen. I uh, will Saturday. It's our goal. Yeah, you'll, you'll, it's, it, it involves a field full of corn and ghosts and stuff. It's really cool. Awesome. <laughs> I love that. Uh, yeah. I love corn. I love ghosts. Let's <laughs> put that on the next label. <laughs> synopsis <laughs> for any movie I've ever heard. <laughs> it's kind of a spoiler alert. Um, but uh, uh, Drew's company has made this bourbon from the corn of the field of dreams. I think it's just so cool. It's a beautiful bottle, too. Mm -hmm. My gosh. Yeah. And... Uh, I have a little bit of Drew Storen trivia. Oh. Oh, really? Now, Drew, you are a very fine athlete and were a very fine uh, Major League Baseball pitcher. And as you said, fewer than, what was it, fewer than 20,000 people have ever... 22,860 oh, as just, of the end of a, last year. ...have played Major League Baseball. Mm -hmm. Now, you are primarily a pitcher, not a batter. Correct. <laughs> However, <laughs> oh. if, if my uh, research is correct, your lifetime batting average... Is three three three? Is this correct? <laughs> Nothing correct. to scoff at at all. No. That's right. Well, now it is something to scoff at. <laughs> One for three. The uh, sample the, size. The overall career. <laughs> the overall career average for all of Major League Baseball mm -hmm. is two fifty. Yeah. So it's so he's, he's well a, above the average. Yes. Now the reason that do you want to explain why your batting average is a, a, a crisp three three three. Uh, yeah, because of sample size and a uh, nice one for three. If I could have just retired after my first AB, I would have been batting a 1,000. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should have taken a knee then. Your first year with the Nationals, you batted 500 mm -hmm. because you only batted three times in your career. Is that correct? Correct, yeah. If I would, you know, I would definitely continued that if I had at least a couple hundred ABs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. ABs. See, he's a, he's a baseball right. player. That means at best, right? Now, uh, <laughs> we had been talking about you earlier uh, in the season about the possibility of someday facing a major league pitcher. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we'll have to have you back and get this set up. I don't think I could do it. I think Willie was the only one who said he would even he give attempt the shot. it. Oh, I'd, I'd attempt it. Were oh, you? yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now, right. were you kind of scared facing a major league pitcher because you are one? Uh, the first time, my first AB, I was because it was Kevin Millwood, and 
you know, it's I'd never faced a man before. <laughs> yeah. So like it, every time I faced a man, it was somebody throwing batting practice. So you got a guy that's you know he's thirty five, thirty six at the time. I'm like, oh man, that's yeah, really hard. And it, yeah, it was it was fun though. You, you know? connected. I did. Yeah, I just kind of changed my stance every pitch and kind of ran into one. What'd wow. you hit? Slider. Oh, okay, a little yeah. line drive over uh, shortstop hmm. left side. I actually used the Bat Boys helmet. Oh, nice. Because they wanted me to hit right-handed, but I was a switch hitter growing up. And so I told the bat boy, give me your helmet. So I went up with a double flap for my first uh, nice. uh, bat. Yeah. Oh, but lifetime batting average of three thirty three, not bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Um, uh, now, um, we're going to uh, talk a little bit about um, this product that... Oh, um, do I have to get it? Hello, Bob and Tom show. <laughs> hey, Bob and Tom, it's Donnie Baker. Hey, Donnie. Hey, Donnie, how are you? I want a few minutes here with Drew Storns. Hey, Drew, <laughs> I've followed your career forever, and I know you can't say it here, but they should have never traded you for that if Puerto Rican from Brazil. <laughs> I swear to God, <laughs> you still rest me wrong. <laughs> And I heard you're into bourbon now, but I'm just spitballing here, okay? You don't have to make commitment, but everybody likes bourbon. You play baseball. Everybody likes baseball. How about we get together this summer, badass block party. We can do it here. Baseball, bourbon, and boats for sale. Oh, you know? That's killer. Heck with a double hitter. We'll make it a triple hitter. Invite Jeters. You face Jeters. Call him up. Puss out. What's he doing now besides camping Wagoneers? My little son, he plays pickleball with Rob Dibbles. So between Jeters and him, it'd be like Cooperstown by the carport. <laughs> We gotta do know, it. You still got that radar gun, but whenever I get my boat back on the water, I'd like you to see what that bad boy's doing right now. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. I, I got a fuzz buster, and I'm tight with DNR. I let Wade tag up on Angel Skinner's last time she went in the wreck. Oh, so. no. uh, oh, see if Cheaters can bring a few jerseys. See, my mom feels the word went on stage. She lost a bunch of her regulars, and they moved her to day shift. <laughs> oh, and uh, she said, stop by Xanadu's later, and the first one's free. Oh, God. Really? <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, That's uh, quite an honor, I believe. <laughs> Worth the trip. Uh, once again, uh, Drew has uh, come up with a bourbon based on the, not based on, uh, made with the corn from the famous Field of Dreams. Mm-hmm. Uh, a great movie that Christy hasn't seen yet, but we've all missed a few on the way. Um, <laughs> and um, this is going to be available nationwide in a couple of mm-hmm. weeks. Is that correct? Yeah, it'll be available on our website. Uh, our three states will be Indiana, Iowa, and Nebraska as well. And then right. and, and then it'll be available for, you said, 35 states? 35 states from drinkfieldofdreams.com. Okay, we'll drink, ship it right to you. Drinkfieldofdreams.com, once again. Uh, and and, and as, it, as they were making the bourbon... Is, did you, as someone who knows a lot about bourbon, help them develop the particular uh, additives to make it taste just right? I just pretty much said this is the type of bourbon I want. Um, I kind of just blended some bourbons in my basement bar and came up with something that I thought would be good and took it to the pros and said, A, am I right? And two, can we do it? And let them let them handle their part in their lane, and I just kind of hmm. roughed it together. Okay, and also, you've also got, uh, the bourbon, is, a, is a, as Josh pointed out, is in a really beautiful bottle, but you also have Field of Dreams. This one I'm holding is in a can. It's a whiskey, lemon, ginger, Southpaw canned cocktail. What is oh, this? Man, that's, oh, yeah. That's wonderful. So it's got unaged whiskey in there with uh, lemon and ginger, and just, this is our refreshing go-to uh, hot summer day drink. Uh, excuse me for interrupting. What? what are you drinking? <laughs> well, I'm drinking a Southpaw. <laughs> <laughs> just don't as Christie's drinking. She's what? pounding them. Yeah. <laughs> what what the hell? Hell? Hey, it's five May o'clock I take a somewhere. Sip? Oh, man. Um, the heck? Yeah. So this has already really got the booze. This has got the booze already in it. Yep. <laughs> Isn't okay. it? Yep. Low ABV. <laughs> well, give me pass four of these this morning. <laughs> Pass that over. I want to take. That a, is so tasty. Take a swig. And I, I, one more time. What, Christy, describe what this is. Um, it's whiskey, lemon, and ginger. That it's is very refreshing. That will be on the dock of, <laughs> at my brother's house, like the Ozarks Fourth of July weekend, no doubt. <laughs> It's huh. pretty tasty. It's very Not refreshing. Bad. And then take, Josh take will break. be in the water any, <laughs> <laughs> any moment. Yeah. Well, Drew, thanks very much. And we'll post the various uh, links. So in the 35 states where it's legal, you can um, capture the Field of Dreams whiskey. Be a nice Father's Day gift. You can just give them the card say it's coming, Dad. Yeah, of How course. Well, thanks, Drew. Thank you. Always uh, a pleasure, Drew. And uh, what a cool idea. I just thought it was so neat. Mm-hmm.